Hello, welcome to my workshop. I'm Chris Pine. Today I'm going to do three projects in one video involving an old coffee table, this hammer, and this screwdriver. It's a Yankee style type screwdriver that I got for a dollar at a garage sale. Stick around. Let's go see what we got going on today in the shop. As you can see, it is a uh, laminated oak tabletop and it has seen better days. With my kids beating this up for as long as they have, it is actually in pretty good shape. The finish on the top is the main concern. I've gone around on the sides and the legs and cleaned it up with a scrub pad and some cleaner. I think it's going to be fine. So all I'm going to do is go through several grits of sandpaper on the top and we're going to put a polyurethane finish on it and be done with it. Another quick little project I need to do is I got this um, Yankee type screwdriver at a garage sale. I paid one dollar for this and the handle is in my lathe. I've got it chucked up and it's kind of rough shape as you can see there and uh, I want to clean that up so I've been able to take it off of the handle and uh, put it in the lathe. We'll sand it down, clean it up, maybe restain it or something. We'll see what it looks like. I hope Steve Ramsey's watching because I think well, this is nothing special as far as the wood goes. I think a nice red paint will look great on this handle. So that's what we're going to do. First though, we're going to use some primer. See, nothing to be afraid of. Just a little color. That looks good. I have this hammer, and this hammer is nothing special. I think I got this like at Home Depot out of the <laughs> the really cheap tool rack. And it's got an epoxy filler here, but this is getting loose. So I want to take this apart and see 
what we've got inside and how I can tighten it back up. Again, I don't have much to lose. I think that this was like three or four bucks for this, this cheap hammer. But you can see that it's loose. So let's take this apart and see what we got. After uh, cleaning this out some and banging on it, it's actually tightened up just by me wedging it back down a little bit. So I'm going to, I drilled a few holes and stuff. I'm going to fill this back up with epoxy. I uh, got this around it so that it'll not leak. I have actually replaced a sledgehammer handle this way that came with an epoxy kit. And I don't think the epoxy was all that much different from your everyday two-part epoxy. So... I'm going to fill this back up and we'll see how that works. Generous helping. It's hardened very hard and it's very uh, filled in all the gaps and this hammerhead is solid as a rock again. I guess time will tell how well that holds and uh, we'll carry on.